Eddie, hey, I have a question for you. Have you ever done something that was wasteful? Like maybe you had too much of something and so you threw the extra away. Or maybe have you ever seen someone else do something and you thought, that seems wasteful. Maybe there were extra that they threw in the garbage or maybe they made more than they needed and didn't know what to do with the rest. What if I told you that I was making this delicious stew full of vegetables and chicken and rice and broth and it's just so warm and cozy and delicious on a cold day. But then what if I said, oh no, I made too much. What am I gonna do with it? And then I just threw it away. That would be kind of wasteful, wouldn't it? Maybe you're thinking, Miss Sarah, that's not good to waste it. Couldn't you give it to somebody who needs it? Why would you make too much if you're not going to use it? I hear you. That's a good point. And I'm going to let you in on a secret. It's just pretend. My, my pot is empty. But in our story today, we are looking at a woman who does something that's very generous. She does something that's so generous and kind and loving for Jesus but it's also extravagant. It's, it's big and fancy and over the top. And a lot of people said, that's too much. That's too much to do for Jesus. It's wasteful. What do you think that Jesus thought? Jesus said, it's not wasteful. It's wonderful. It's generous. She is being generous to me, to Jesus. And so this week in our lesson, we're going to be thinking about how can we be generous to Jesus? and to the other people that Jesus loves. Everybody on earth, how can we live generously and be extravagantly generous to give generously of what we have? And maybe you're listening to this and you're thinking, I'm just a kid. I don't have a whole lot. Well, maybe you do. Maybe it doesn't need to be, you know, money, but do you have time? Are there ways that you can be generous with your time to help people out, to share with your siblings, to do a favor for somebody, or even just to spend time with Jesus, reading your Bible, praying, talking to Jesus, or maybe you have some toys. Are there ways that you can share those toys with people around you? Are there ways that you can go out of your way to be generous with what you have? Now, we'll be thinking about that more this week because we want to be generous, like the woman in the story. Jesus is just so happy with the woman in the story who doesn't think of herself first, she thinks of Jesus first. And that's how we wanna to live too, don't we? And when we think of Jesus first, we love others. We let others feel the love of Jesus, and that is wonderful. That's it for me for today. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.